Uh, okay, uh, my topic today is spatial temporal pattern from the mobile phone data sets. Uh, the background is, you know, nowadays the widespread use of location awareness technologies made it possible to collect large scale spatial temporal data sets from these devices. And then there are two perspectives to look at this related research. From the individual level, we have human mobility studies. This is also a hot topic recently published on Nature Science. And we have trajectory data mining and the community detection in terms of complex network study. And uh, from the aggregated level, we can study on the dynamic urban landscape or also investigate spatial interactions or estimate transportation demands. So a lot of things. So this is remind us to think about how the ICT used related to space, place, and the social science. So after collecting large scale spatial temporal trajectories, X, Y, T, and then we can use some GS technology to analyze them. Here is an example uh, which I made for the space time pass for a regular user over a week. You can see some regular, pattern, regular patterns. The physics scientists would say they want to model their movements like a mo molecule or model you molecular, I think, moleculars <laughs> randomly. But as a, ge as a geographers, we don't think so. That's not the case because we have the geography contest constraints. So from that graph, you can see that it's actually highly predictable for humans' movements. It's, you can infer the most visiting places, maybe their home, the house, working place, or shopping center, or other place of interest. So yeah, we have a highly percentage to predict. Also, we have some variability for the user. The red graph shows their irregular movements. I guess maybe he's a delivery man working for maybe UPS, but another type of company in China for UPS. So they move around randomly over a week during the urban space. And uh, more quantitatively, we calculate the distance distribution, use ROG to move the, get the distance distribution. OK, we can see the distance decay. For the gender difference, no big difference. But for the age, we found the older and the, um, the teenage people may like more distance decay effect. For different cities, we found Larger cities have less distance decay, and their during the slope we can see clearly. And uh, we also <coughs> interested in the relationship between telecommunication and movements. Also, ICT activity cluster, or the spatial interactions. Okay, I think I have done. Here are some journal publications from last year from our group, and also the reference. Okay, you can look up more details if you're interested. Thank you. That's all. <laughs>